The knee is probably one of the most complicated uh, joints we've ever found, either in nature or man-made. So there's actually a lot of different causes, but in groups of it, uh, it can be because the knee's overloaded, the knee's worn out, uh, there's damage to soft tissues in and around the knee, or there's been some trauma to the knee. In terms of seeking advice, uh, it's fine if you've had a day or two of pain to just rest it, try some anti-inflammatories and try some ice. If after that, that pain isn't settling down well, uh, then it may be time to seek some medical advice. In terms of more chronic pains, if you're getting pain that's interfering with activities of daily life, getting pain that isn't well controlled with painkillers, and certainly if you're getting to the point that you're having pain at rest or pain at night time, you should come and see a knee specialist and see what could be done. The most important uh, aspect in terms of diagnosing knee pain is a knee surgeon or knee expert asking you questions. So the history, as we call it in medical terms, we can actually get around 70% or so of the diagnosis just from that. A careful examination is really important and uh, the surgeon should spend several minutes looking at your knee in great detail. And then the most normal test would be x-rays to look for signs of trauma and fractures or gross arthritis and then an mri scan which gives a lot more detail and is three-dimensional with an mri we can see arthritis we can see damage to meniscus tendons ligaments uh, we can even have some sort of an idea about quality of bone and inflamed soft tissues around the knee as well There's lots and lots of different treatments available for knee pain. If it's an acute pain and it might be self-limiting, we can just use anti-inflammatories, rest and ice. Uh, if we're more concerned about specific areas of uh, degeneration or tearing, uh, an MRI scan can guide us. Uh, for example, if there's a meniscus that's torn, uh, we can take away the torn piece or we can repair larger tears. If an anterior cruciate ligament is damaged, we can reconstruct it. And then for osteoarthritis, the mainstays are either conservative injections and operations. Uh, conservative treatments may involve weight loss or physiotherapy to change the forces around the knee. There's a variety of different injections uh, which can reduce inflammatory episodes of pain and in some cases can produce months of relief. And then there's joint replacement options. Uh, part of the knee can be replaced if there's only one of the compartments worn. If there's more than one of the three compartments of the knee worn out, then we can do a total knee replacement. In my case, that would be aided by a robot so we can get a really accurate reconstruction and we can get all of the soft tissues in your knee working in concert with the new implant. Uh, you can do quite a lot to help with your own knee. Uh, it can be really useful if you just try and take some time to figure out the triggers for your knee pain. If, for example, you're doing well with low impact sports and high impact sports are making your knee very painful, it might be an opportunity to review how much high impact sport you're doing. Uh, if your knees aren't well balanced, uh, it can be very helpful to change that, either with a personal trainer, a physiotherapist or yourself at the gym. A lot of people, for example, have got slightly weaker quadriceps than hamstrings and slightly tighter hamstrings and quadriceps. If we can reverse that balance, we can get rid of a lot of knee pain, particularly pains in and around the front of your knee and your kneecap. Uh, weight loss can be helpful and for patients who are overweight, a reduction in weight can make a big difference. Uh, in terms of supplements, we haven't really found an awful lot that's been very helpful uh, so far. There's been a lot of studies done into turmeric, hyaluronic acid and various other bits and pieces. Uh, but so far, that's in the watch this space area rather than something we could definitively recommend. <laughs>